everyone, so I'm here today with my booktubeathon TBR. Now, if you've been watching my channel for quite some time, you'll know that I don't really do readathons very often because usually they have the complete opposite effect on me and I usually do almost no reading at all. I'm going to make an exception with the booktubeathon though, even though I am working lots next week, I just, I can't resist trying to get in on the action. I've left my diary as clear as I can so that I can take part in any video challenges throughout the week. I'm also planning on vlogging and using that vlog as my weekly reading wrap up the week after. So yeah, I really want to just try and get stuck into it this year and maybe this will be the readathon that actually works for me for once. So as ever there are sort of reading challenges to help you sort of pick a TBR out and all this has done is led to me having a great big massive stack of books to choose from because I get really torn. I won't get to all these books. That's that's guaranteed. So challenge one is to read a book with a person on the cover. This is cheating slightly because I've already started this book but I want to finish it because I was enjoying it and I just need to kick up the bum to actually pick it up and read it and so my choice for that one is going to be Night Film by Marisha Pessel. This one could also work for a hyped book but I've already got a choice for that so if for some reason I'm struggling to get through books I could double this one up onto that one. We'll think positively. We'll go a book a challenge for now so yeah. I want to just get stuck into this and finish this. I don't know why I keep forgetting to pick it up almost because I'm loving it. Now challenge two is to read a hyped book and as I said I can use night film if I feel like my reading's going slowly but more likely I will be using this great big beast which is Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare which is the second book in the Dark Artifices series and the five billionth book in the Shadowhunter Chronicles. I am... 169 pages into this. That's nothing at all compared to the size of the book. I think it'd be unrealistic to expect to be able to read the whole of this book and the whole of Night Film next week, but I really, really, really want to get this done before anyone can spoil me because I'm terrified of spoilers. Challenge three is to read a book in a day and actually finish it entirely. So for this one, I'm taking a bit of a risk here but I think it'll be doable and that is going to be Girl Online Going Solo by Zoe Sugg which is the third book in the Girl Online series by her. I listened to both of the audiobooks in the space of a couple of days last week so they will be in my next reading wrap up and so as a result I have been desperate to pick this up. I almost just cheated and got the audiobook because I just wanted to carry on and I was like no save this for the booktube on me because you will fly through it. Hopefully I'll fly through it. The font's pretty big. Well, it's not all that long, like just over 300 pages, so this might be doable for me on a day off from work. Monday. This is Monday's read. Challenge four is to read a book about a character who is very different from you. I've not actually picked one for this yet. I am leaving my some, myself some flexibility with this TBR because I've become very much a mood reader and I don't want to pick something up for the sake of it being on this list and then me being like, I'm not in the mood for this anymore, but I said I was going to read it, so I don't know. So yeah, I'm leaving that on for now. I'll vlog my choice for that if I end up picking one up for that, because let's face it, I probably won't get all these challenges done anyway. <laughs> it's also highly likely that any of the other books could count for that. I mean, I'm not a shadow hunter. We could just count Lord of Shadows for that one otherwise. The cheating option. Challenge five is to read a book completely outdoors. Now again, I may just do this one. If the weather is nice Monday, which in the UK is a very, very, very big if, but if it is nice, I could potentially just go out for the afternoon, read this outside, have a nice little tanning time. I'm not going to bank on it though, so I have got a backup plan. And the backup plan is my current audiobook. I've not actually started it yet, I've just got it set up ready, but it is... I'm having a total mind blank at the title of this audiobook's name. I can't look because I film on my phone. I don't want to change the angle if I go on that. I don't want to go and get my laptop because again the angle would change. It's an Adam Silvera book. The picture will be just there. I would be kicking myself when I put the image just there because the title just, it won't come to my head. <laughs> but I could potentially listen to that to and from work along with just little spells outside here and there to, I don't know, do some gardening or something uh, to get an audiobook done. So that is my backup choice. 
that could happen. We'll have to see what the weather's like next week, basically. Now the next challenge is to read a book you bought just because of the cover. I've got two choices for this because I am torn. On the one hand, we have got a book that, quite frankly, I probably should go for. I was going to go for until a book came in the post today. But yeah, this is the one that I would literally bought as a complete cover by at the age of about 21, maybe younger than that. I've had this book 10 plus years and I feel like it deserves to be read. I don't even think the cover's that fantastic anymore. I mean, it's, it's cute, but it was definitely a cover by at the time. And that is The Love Academy by Belinda Jones. This cover, I thought at the time, was stunning. Add on the fact that it's got a sticker of signed by the author at Waterstones. There. I literally just, I remember going into the bookshop going, that's a pretty cover. Oh, and it's signed, okay. I didn't look at what it's about. Even now I have no idea what it's about. I can sort of tell from the cover, it's going to be chick lit. So this should be a relatively quick read. Should be perfect for the booktubeathon. I should be wanting to go for this one. Plus it's getting really yellow. Let's give it some love. My problem is, I won a giveaway over on Ethos channel, who is Fred Weezy Died Laughing, for those of you who don't know. And the book from that giveaway came today and um, I can't stop, well first of all I can't stop stroking it because it feels, oh, first of, ne next of all I can't stop sniffing it, it smells beautiful. Third of all, have you seen how stunning this cover is? If I was in a bookshop and looking to just buy a beautiful book without actually reading anything about it. This would be the sort of book you would do it with. Even that spine, oh, I just, I'm in love with this book. It's so beautiful. It also looks quite a quick read. It's got relatively short chapters. It's a historical fiction by Sally Gardner, who is writing in a new pen name of Ray Delaney. And I've heard a fantastic review of it off Eva. I love historical fiction. I. I'm just in love with the beautifulness of this book. I wouldn't want to put it down, so I would be happy to be reading this because I'd be like, I need to sniff this book, I need to fill this book. I feel like I could get through this one really quickly next week. So I kind of want to go for this one instead of The Love Academy. But then you've also got to think that challenge seven is to read seven books. So even if I include this one and include my audiobook, that leaves us with one. My audiobook would put us up to six, so I still actually have room for one more book, even at that. And if this is how it does end up panning out, my final book would be the official Booktubeathon book this year, which is Juniper Lemon's Happiness Index. The cover will be just bare, there because I've forgotten the name of the author. This video is going so well with my memory today. But yeah, those are my sort of tentative choices. Little changes may happen here or there, as you've already seen. I actually started preparing this TBR earlier in the week and it has changed significantly since then so who knows what I will end up reading, reading next week but as I said I will be vlogging it so at least you will be there included in my choices. I also want to try and do some of the daily challenge videos whether those are going to be achievable for me will depend on work commitments and just how busy I am versus wanting to read as well. Please let me know what you're planning on reading for the booktube on down below. Let me know if you have read any of these books. Please, no spoilers, especially for Lord of Shadows or Girl Online. <laughs> thank you so much. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe by clicking the image of me just so if you want to see more book views and other bookish content from me. And I will see you on Sunday with a very belated reading wrap up. But I thought this was the best way of doing it because then I can wrap up just before the booktubeathon starts. And then I've got a fresh start from the booktubeathon being vlogged. So that will work for the wrap up after. And then after that, I'll be able to just go back to my wrap up as being all normal. So that's the plan. And I will see you, yeah, Sunday. Bye bye.